But is, is this then, Sanju Varma, more about the next elections, where in this election, BJP will do well, but a new political opponent has taken birth, which is uh, pugnacious, feisty, wanting to get under your skin, and they may not have enough political power or muscle to be able to land a knockout blow in these elections, but they'll gain enough green shoots which they could potentially build on over the next five years. Is, are you A, happy that this election is going well, or B, concerned that there is a new opponent in the horizon who awaits you between now and the next elections? You know, Rahul, uh Forgive me, I don't wish to be offensive and I don't wish to sound arrogant, but I'm amazed at, uh, you know, the flurry of adjectives that you use for the Aam Army Party. Feisty, pugnacious, a new party is born, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, let me just tell you one thing. I think where the opposition really loses hands down is the fact that they are able to garner vote share. But they are not able to translate vote share into seat share. We've seen Rahul in the last couple of elections. Let me take the example of the Congress party because it has a history. Aam Aadmi party, uh, you know, uh, relatively does not have a history, uh, you know, uh, in Gujarat. Congress in most assembly elections in Gujarat has always managed to get, uh, you know, vote share of between 38 to 42 percent. And that has been their track record in Lok Sabha elections as well. But look at the number of seats. In Lok Sabha 2014 and 2019, BJP got all the 26 out of 26 seats. Despite having a 32% vote share, the Congress got zero seats in Lok Sabha 2014 and Lok Sabha 2019. Despite a very marginal difference in vote share between the Congress and the BJP in 2017, the Congress still was reined in at 77 and out of those 77, 14 had left the party, reducing its tally to 63. The limited point I'm making is that assuming what one of your panelists said earlier, that the Aam Aadmi Party is able to garner 18 to 20% vote share, the key point is, will this 18 to 20% vote share that the Aam Aadmi Party garners be able to give them a sizable number of seats and my answer is no. I will be surprised if they even touch the double digit sure. mark. And the reason for that is simple. You know, Gujarat ki janta... That's an important point. Let me, just I'll take 10 seconds more Rahul. The Gujarat ki janta, forgive me, is not like okay, Delhi ki seconds. janta or Punjab ki janta. They have realized that Arvind Kejriwal promises the moon but what has happened in Delhi in the last seven to eight years, no single flyover opened, no single hospital opened, no single school opened, no single college opened, Anganwadi workers not given their minimum wages. You know, so Arvind Kejriwal says, I will give 30,000 per month to every Gujarati household. Now there are 1.5 crore households, which means that Aam Aadmi Party is willing to spend 5.4 lakh crore. So where will you get 5.4 lakh crore when the annual okay. budget of no, so, so here's, is here, here, here's the fact. I think, I, think, I think Sanju Verma makes an important point that you can hit a lot of flashy strokes. You can notch up your vote share. But Jasmine Shah, unless you're able to convert that into seats, it doesn't really matter. Well played maybe, but in the end, Jo Jita, Vahi Sikandar. Absolutely, Rahul. And you know, one thing we can be certain of, that in every major state where AAP has debuted, all the arithmetics of the political analysts and opposition parties goes for a toss. We have seen this in Delhi in 2013, we saw this in Delhi in 2015, and we now see uh, it in Punjab also in 2022. And, and you know, that is, that is what... But that's not always true. That it didn't happen in Uttarakhand, it didn't happen in Goa. So AAP has had some false starts as well. It's not agreed, as if once you enter Rahul, the battlefield, agreed, everything Rahul. changes. The data doesn't suggest that. But Rahul, if you go on the ground, you can understand, you can see the palpable mood. Your own journalists are reporting that. We are seeing that widespread across the people and the length and breadth of Gujarat that today AAP has emerged as the voice for change. The word that everybody talks about is Parivartan. And who, which is the platform for Parivartan? It is not Congress, it is definitely not the BJP, it is the Aam Aadmi Party. And this, let me explain the math of this 18 to 20 percentage all because that's very important to understand. 
the widespread uh, mahal in gujarat today is of fear very few people openly speak up in surveys that they are supporting a new entrant and that to aam aadmi party because they know that mr kejriwal fights the policies of bjp and mr modi day and night but 18 to 20 percentage people if they are vocally saying they are supporting up there is another half of the people who are not able to say or not willing to say on the face of it but will definitely go and vote for us so our share vote share today is actually in the range of 40 percent and you know talking about vote katwa opposition party we will see it on 8th of december that aam aadmi party is going to deliver the knockout rahul. blow in one go it is the pent up anger rahul of 27 years more be spurious liquor uh, uh, bhrashtachar okay. everywhere you know the kinds of issues that people of gujarat are facing they have never found voice we they know that congress is in the pocket of bjp 20 mlas have sold themselves from congress to bjp in the last 5 years alone and the remaining who will win will will sell themselves immediately after election so today aap has become the only okay uh, you so know, you're looking to punch above your political weight which is understandable you're also talking about the prospect of fear there is make no mistake anti incumbency in gujarat